In recognition of the 120th birthday of the most celebrated Peking Opera performer Mei Lanfang, the Peking Opera master's son Mei Baojiu, along with the Jingju Theatre Company of Beijing, present plays titled Classic Plays of the May School and Lady Mu Guiying Takes Command at Lincoln Center on August 20th, 23rd and 24th. Performing at the place where my father used to perform at, it's sort of like I can feel my father is enlightening my inspiration again. It's just like my father is reappearing here again. Mei Lanfang was the first actor ever to present Peking Opera in the U.S. in 1930. His work brightened American audiences' eyes. During the press conference prior to Wednesday night's performance, Mei Baojiu and Li Enjie, the director of Jingju Theatre Company of Beijing, both talked to us about the meaning of this trip. What Mei Langfang performed were all the most classic and representative traditional theatrical pieces of China. More than 80 years has passed, and we are now performing his most representative pieces in the U.S. again, not only to pay homage to him, but also to show that Peking Opera has been inherited very well. The best way to promote Peking Opera abroad is to let it have access to the market. Through expanding the influence gradually, we can let Western audiences know this performance genre, come to enjoy Peking Opera as one way to get their spiritual needs, and we see that as a success. Mei Lanfang is considered a legendary figure not only because of his artistic contribution in developing and innovating Peking Opera, but also because he was a culture ambassador promoting Chinese art and culture to the Western world. World. Throughout the years, Mei Baojiu and Li Enjie said this version of Mei's Peking Opera performance also innovates and changes, allowing more East and West understanding. The performances we brought this time, we did some innovation, especially in terms of staging effects. But we are also keeping to my father's original artistic style, which is elegant and graceful. In addition, we simplified some parts. To deliver the essence of Peking Opera to the Western audiences, we need to present the best features of Peking Opera while still keeping the audience engaged. Peking Opera faces new environments and challenges, and to save Peking Opera, we need to change and meet the demands of this age. Many of the performers in the troupe said they felt honored to participate in the performances and carry on Mei Lanfang's legacy. It's my pleasure and I'm very happy. This time is different from the performances we did before, because this time is to commemorate the 120th anniversary of Mei Lanfang. As a third-generation descendant of Mei Lanfang, we feel lucky and happy to follow in his footsteps to have a tour in the United States. It can be written into the annals of history. For more information from Sunovision English Channel, you can find us online at en.sunovision.net. Reporting for Sunovision Journal, I'm Jane Stone.